Good morning, children. Saira, welcome to this session. Today we are going to start with a new lesson, an interesting lesson, lesson number fourteen, intergalactic idol. Okay, what is the meaning of intergalactic idol? Have you all heard about the Indian idol? Okay, uh, that is a music contest, isn't it? Like this, intergalactic idol means you know there are many galaxies, so there is a music contest between. Many people from different galaxies, inter galaxy, okay, that is called as inter inter galactic idol. So it is just an imaginary story. We will just read about it now. Let us uh, see the author of it. Okay, the author is Samit Basu. You can see that this is he, he is the author of the of the story inter galactic idol, and we'll read about him. Samit Basu was born is born in nineteen seventy nine. is an uh, indian author writing mostly in the fantasy genre most of his best known works include the came world trilogy the superhero novels tri turbulence and resistance comics like local monsters devi and unholy the children literature like the morning star agency and the adventures of stoop series okay this is about the author now let us start about the a story this is about a small boy whose name was elvis okay he was sitting in his home and doing his homework suddenly something is coming we'll read this interesting story and we'll come to know what uh, what he is see i was quite this is a boy name was elvis okay i was quietly i was sitting quietly at my desk doing my maths homework see first i will read one uh, slide then i'll explain and then go to the next slide okay i was sitting quietly at my desk doing my maths homework i had done most of them i was stuck at number 40 and looking around in some anguish anyway so there i was at my desk when i suddenly heard a loud roaring noise noise i thought it was another plane or something i live near the airport but it got louder and louder and then there was this huge ear splitting crash okay so where this elvis is staying near the airport okay we'll read now line by line i was sitting quietly at my desk doing my maths homework so he was sitting in his uh, desk and quietly he was doing his maths homework when he was he was stuck at the number or some 40 40 at some and he was looking around in some anguish some worry some pain extreme pain he was stuck with that question isn't it for that anyway so there was i, I was at my desk when i suddenly heard a loud roaring noise what did he hear he heard a, a loud roaring noise he what did he think he thought some other plane or something else because he was living near the airport but the the, the voice he became louder and louder and then he that there was a huge ear splitting crash there was a huge crash and he in this garden we'll go and see what it is okay i raced out to the balcony and then raced downstairs to my lawn pausing for a few seconds to stop gulping and pointing and catch my breath because i had never seen anything like this before there was an alien spaceship in my garden okay so imagine children suddenly near your house once um, a, a space uh, ship is coming and and from that one alien is coming out okay you will be surprised same way what did you do he raced out of the balcony he ran out of the balcony and then raced downstairs to the lawn he had a big lawn that means lawn means a garden okay pausing for a few seconds to stop gulping and he was so shocked and pointing and gulping and pointing and catch my breath he was so shocked he could not even breathe because i had never seen anything like this before so like i had not seen anything like this before what did he see he saw an alien spaceship in his garden okay there you can see the alien i'll show you this uh, spaceship now we'll see there was a hatch on top of the spaceship what is a hatch an opening in the ship or aircraft or the door that covers it let us a uh, door 
okay a covering where that it can come out there was a hatch on top of the uh, spaceship it opened the thing that came out of the spaceship looked like a pelican pelican is a bird okay except that it had two beaks tentacles instead of wings and instead of feet it had spirally things like springs okay alien you all know they will look strange okay you have seen in some serials and cartoon movies and aliens okay so what happened he was uh, in this uh, he came running to see in his garden and what did he see he saw the spaceship that is and how it opened the hatch on top of the spaceship opened and the, what came out it looked like a pelican it is a bird but it had how many beaks two beaks tentacles means the insects have tentacles isn't it instead of wings it does it did not have wings and instead of feet it had spirally things like springs it had spring like structure in its legs you can see the picture of it see here see the legs of it like spring and that uh, container that is hatches open see hatches open and then it has got two tentacles also it had it had two beaks okay when you have the textbook close by you can see it has got two beaks it has got no legs and no wings it has got tentacles and it has got spring like legs see how he is uh, surprised and see he is coming out of his house and he is uh, shocked by seeing a alien in his garden isn't it okay it bounced out of the ship and landed in front of me and said what sounded like garumbi waktar formodin in 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 of something some language it is telling what could i do i saluted it welcome to our planet i said i mean you no know harm okay so it came it opened and it what did it tell something garumbi waktar formodin in 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 of some some language it was speaking so what he was shocked already isn't it then he what did he do he saluted saluted and he is telling welcome to our planet he is calling that alien welcome to our planet i mean you no know harm he is asking because the alien doesn't know proper english he is asking i mean you no know harm see his english how he is telling that means i know that you will not make give in do any harm to us i it was really weird but after a few minutes of struggling i suddenly realized that everything it was saying it was saying things made sense now it was yelling yelling means shouting okay shut up shut up it didn't look happy so i shut up and it took me it let me go and cleared its throat okay so what happened it was it was really weird but after some minutes it was struggling to tell something okay and he realized that everything it was saying it was saying things now slowly he came to he made sense now he started understanding now because some some words only he could understand some stop stop you could see how it was telling something he was shouting yelling shut up shut up it didn't look happy it was not looking happy so i shut up and it let me go and cleared its throat so so he again it, it wants to tell something so he cleared its it cleared its throat my name is nose band man manager v2.6 it said it said i need your help see the name of it children nose why is silent nose band manager v2.6 okay so it is the name of the alien is this so it is telling i want your help so nose told me many things i'll summarize briefly so he understood what that alien was telling so he is telling i will summarize now what that alien wanted i will tell it briefly i had to go with it to the planet arc staro 2 okay arc staro 2 where an indian intergalactic idol this intergalactic music contest was happening and i had to be our galaxy's champion okay so uh, no stole many things but he is going to um, elvis is going to summarize what he is telling because 
that language we could cannot understand he understood after so much of trying he understood he is telling that he had to go to planet arc star o 2 he had to go to, he with that alien he had to go where what was held it was there it was an indian galactic, uh, galactic idol was that is a music uh, contest was going to happen and he had to be our galaxy's champion he wanted he want to represent our galaxy as a end contestant okay now if i won i would have everything i have want i ever wanted and be an intergalactic celebrity or uh, with a lifetime supply of chocolate what do you like children chocolate so whatever you want you will get but that is lifetime supply of chocolate you will get if you win that uh, contest if i didn't go our galaxy would be in violation of an intergalactic peace treaty and would therefore be destroyed then if i don't win our galaxy will be destroyed there will be a quarrel okay and therefore there will be destroyed okay why me again is asking why did you select me the boy is asking it wasn't supposed to be you the alien is telling it wasn't supposed to be you said no but my ship was ambushed near ganymede by the evil warlord jiji box jiji box jiji box my jigonium tank started leaking my ship crashed as you know as you can see and once i repair it i won't have enough fuel or enough time to find the best singer on your planet so it has to be you silly actually he did not come to this boy he is well, suddenly his uh, the fuel got over and his his tank the fuel the spaceship tank is called as jigonium tank okay it uh, the, there was a uh, the tank started leaking and his ship crashed and once he landed there uh, he found who this boy only and if there was no fuel for him to get repaired and to search for the best singer so he's telling i found you now you have to be the singer now and there is no time and there is no fuel to go and search for a best singer so so you have to be the singer now okay but why our planet in the first place i asked him why did you come to our planet aren't there better singers anywhere else in our galaxy is it like why you did you select our place our uh, our planet in the first place is it like there are many much more better singers anywhere else in other in our galaxy there are much more better singers why did you select him okay the the last time we won the intergalactic contest it was with a singer from your planet why did he come this alien come here because last time when they won the intergalactic contest it was with a singer from your planet is telling the alien is telling so our galaxy's high council decided we would try it again this time i was sent to find king of your world and bring him back but alas i was have i will have to make do with whatever i found so that's what what that's what happened to elvis okay so why this uh, alien came here last time when they had the intergalactic contest the singer from was from our planet only so our gal the uh, who's telling the alien is telling so our galaxy's high council decided what did they decide to try again try their luck again so they want they uh, he was this alien was sent to find the king of our world and bring him back so when the uh, this spaceship crashed he found so he's telling i have to be happy with what i've got i've got you only now you have to be the singer of of this contest so this is what had happened to elvis so this is the starting of the story where the spaceship uh, crashed and who landed we saw a alien okay and then alien was struggling to tell but at last uh, this elvis found out that it was uh, asking him to come for the intergalactic contest that is with with the alien to the other galaxy okay he, actually he was not uh, going to support 
uh, search for this boy he wanted to find the king of our world and, and take him back but uh, suddenly his spaceship crashed and he could not uh, he did not have enough fuel to get it repaired and then go back and find so whoever he found out he is going to take them to for this contest so that was happened to this boy called as elvis so this story we will read till here children we will continue the story in the next presentation till then take care thank you children sairam bye bye